Hi everyone, this is Mike from Channel Mike's NDBs. You know, since I put this video up, I've had a number of inquiries as to how my Lima Locos seem to run so smooth. Quite a few years ago now, I devised a one-off servicing method that um, will really make them run, just as you hear and see them running now. So, what I'm going to do, go through the document with you, which I can quite happily send you by email. If you email me your email address, I'll send it to you. It's just under one megabyte in size. But for now, we'll go through it here on the video. So what I'll do is read the text and uh, add any little bits that are necessary. Above is a Class 47 that was used in the guide, also features in the video. Class 47 was used, but the guide applies to almost any type of Lima Loco. Important tools for the job. IPA, I'm not even going to try and say that, cleaning solvent, obtainable from Maplum and other places. Ultrasonic jewellery cleaner, obtainable from Argus. Now, this isn't really ultrasonic, it's a motor that spins with a concentric weight on it, but it does the right job. And they're only about seven or eight pounds, so it's not terrible. Um, one word of caution, do not get the IPA on the paintwork of your loco, because it will strip it off. Open the loco and set the body to one side. Undo the two screws on the underside of the motor bogey. Use a small soldering iron and remove all the wires from the motor, but note where they go. Now remove the motor from the chassis. Next, strip the motor down. Do this by undoing the two screws marked here. Remove the brush plate and place the brushes, spring, motor and armature into the IPA bath and run or agitate it for a while. Once done, clean the commutator and brushes with a cotton bud. Now here's a little tip for you. Remove the magnet. Check for any little bits of metal that have adhered to it during the manufacturing process. On every occasion I've done this, and I've done a few now, I've found that there's certainly been at least a few pieces. So worth getting rid of those, because they'll interfere with the smooth running of the armature otherwise. Right, the next job is to move, remove the gear chain from the motor. Take great care not to lose the small hexagonal nuts. Best way to remove them is with a 3mm nut spinner, as shown opposite. Set the nuts aside in a small box while working. Place the removed gears and if they're dirty, the nuts, into the IPA bath. You are aiming to remove every trace of the old oils and lubricants. Once the gears have been soaked for a while, remove them one at a time and wipe clean with a cloth. Then use an old toothbrush to clean between the teeth of the gears. Now here we go on to the really important stuff now chaps. Look just there. You can see one of the moulding sprues that's been left on. This causes the gears to run lumpy and give the characteristic grinding lemur noise. This next step will make a major difference to the running quality of your locos. Each lima gear will have at least one moulding sprue. This must be carefully removed by using a sharp knife or fine wet and dry paper. Be very careful not to damage the teeth. Here's some examples of me actually doing it. I use a magnifying glass as well when I'm doing it. The next step is to clean the motor bogey frame and block. Place the whole thing in the IPA bath and run or agitate for some time. Then using the toothbrush and cloth, remove all traces of the old oils and lubricants and other loose particles. Clean all areas including the motor bearings, backs of the wheels and axle contact strip. Also make sure that the gear mounts do not have any swarf that will stop the gears turning freely. Right, another really important one. We're now looking at the back of one of the driving wheels. There's the traction tyre. And look at this here significant moulding sprue which causes more lumpy running. That has to be carefully removed again with a scalpel. If you cut along the top of the tooth you should remove it without any damage. Once you have attended to the gears reassemble the gear change but do not at this stage insert the securing bolts or motor parts. Try each gear chain by turning the wheels and see if it turns freely. If you find snatching there may well be a bit of plastic flash on the underside of the gears. Let's see this picture. Look there, where it's hanging down, and that's colliding with that gear as it goes round. The offending spur is marked by the red arrows. See it there? In the top picture, you can see how it fouls the teeth of the next gear. This is often responsible for the grinding noise Lima Locos make. Remove the spur with wet and dry or sharp knife. Once you have everything turning freely, reassemble the motor bogey. Pay attention to the brush spring pressure. Do not crush the holders, but down 
but leave a small gap as shown here. So you can just see the springs. Many times I've had motors to service and these have been crushed right in. It's really not necessary, it'll just burn your brushes out quicker and damage your commutator. At this point I like to remove the bare stiff wire that Lima fits and replace it with a more reliable flexible insulated wire. It's green in this case but it can be any colour you choose. When inserting the small gear bolts do not over tighten them as they will easily strip their threads. Quite an important warning there. Now that everything is back in place we can begin the lubrication process. A small drop of oil is required between the motor brush retainers as shown. Now this is the uh, bearing that is on the commutator side. So see that drop that's in the picture? That's about the maximum size you need. Now you do need to lubricate that, otherwise you'll get a heck of a noise from your motor. But too much and it'll get on the commutator. So be warned and be careful. Next add a couple of drops of oil to the motor bearing the other side and the gears. Press the motor spindle in to ensure the oil gets right into the ring. Make sure you oil the driving wheels, axles and the contact pickup point. Add a drop of oil to each gear as shown here. So you can see where they're going. You should already note things are running smoother. Now I like to connect my motors up outside of the loco with crop clips and the controller and just get them turning for this next bit. I use Hob E Lube special um, gear lube. It's HL664. You should be able to get that from your Backman dealer. You can see it's making like a spider web effect as it's going on. Now that goes away, but the advantage with this gear loop is it doesn't fly off and it stays exactly where you put it and keeps things really nice. In fact, I've not had to lubricate mine locos for years and years and years. The oil that I've used in this case is the medium oil HL663. Don't forget to lubricate the trailing motor, uh, trailing bogey axles. Final steps now. Have a look where the motor bogey pivots. You'll often find little bits of plastic which haven't been cleaned off. This will cause it to be um, sticky in the frame. So wet and dry again, get rid of that. And also the front of the motor bogey pivot, or back and front, will sometimes have flash of plastic down it. If you smooth that off and even add a little bit of grease, you get nice free turning. Right, reassemble your loco and enjoy it running quality you did not expect from Lima. That's very true, and there's all the mess that came out in the IPA bath. Now, just referring briefly to the old style Class 33 motor, these are the ones with the big metal clip that hold the gears in place. Now, these motors are virtually the same to service, but uh, seem to benefit even more from this process. And in fact, I've got a Class 33 now that runs silky smooth. Um, it's not quite as good as the modern uh, flywheel tin can motors that we've got in Backman and other things nowadays but it's pretty good for Lima and has certainly changed the effect of the loco you can creep it along quite nicely it's all here in this guide which as I say I'm more than happy to send to anybody that wants it just send me a message on YouTube with your email address and I'll happily send it on to you okay cheers for now bye